hey you guys so you welcome to lemonade out of lemons today it's been a hectic day for me but i just want to um help you win your baby so you have been breastfeeding for a long time and as a breastfeeding mother you found out that you your job is um in the way you want to win your baby off breastfeeding and you're wondering how to uh, win your baby or how to stop your two-year-old baby from breastfeeding so this video is actually for you now this channel is as a result of my daughter caring her birth saw this channel being created and today i am going to discuss how i weaned my baby caring off breast milk at um 18 months yes at 18 months so if this video provides you with value uh, feel free hit on the like button you can also subscribe and you can also share the video and you can post the, the channel links to all the platforms that you social media platforms that you have so don't forget to subscribe okay now let's go quickly to today's video now you've been breastfeeding your child for a long time even some mothers are still breastfeeding their babies at 10 years and one thing i would want you to know is that breastfeeding or weaning your baby is very emotional now emotional because uh, you want to stop your child from feeding okay and your child is attached to you you've got you guys have developed some feelings or some emotions some a sense of connectiveness so if your child you, if you want to stop okay so today you didn't give your you didn't feed your baby um breast milk now it's you want to continue but here is a situation where your child wants to breastfeed again so you you feel pity for the child and you go like okay come back again and come and breastfeed <laughs> so you if you keep doing it this way then you're not going to win your child off the breast milk so today um three hours intervals you haven't fed your child now you find out that she comes and she wants to carry for instance want to put the hands in your um, bra and then pick up the breast and suck <laughs> and then she does it now so you, you you feel pity oh my child wants to breastfeed let me just give her the breast milk and then you give it to the child so i want to tell you that it's very emotional and you need to be emotionally ready to do that okay you need to be hard on yourself and hard on your child as well to do that so after you are hard on yourself and you 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 take up this decision okay you take up the next step so if you have been winning if you have been breastfeeding your child for been breastfeeding your baby for you know two hours intervals for six months or three hours intervals for 24 months and you want to win your child you should um you should you should you should extend the time okay so every 24 hours um every yes every 24 hours you win your child six times you, you breastfeed your baby six times or you breastfeed your baby three times now because you want to win your child you should cut the time from a six times to maybe five times or four times as convenient as it is for you so to four times and then if it's three times you cut it to two times and then two times you cut it back to one time okay once so as you are doing that your child is is limiting the breast intake which is going to limit the breast uh, the breast milk production in your in your breast because the more your baby breastfeeds the more the hormones produces breast milk but if your child doesn't breastfeed often the hormones would you know the brain and the hormones are going to you know uh, communicate and know that okay there's something going on here it's like we have to stop producing that much because there is still some in stock so the breast is not going to produce much, much breast milk it's going to be reduced and the intake from your child is going to reduce now when you reduce the breast milk production make sure that you get your child healthy food 
foods make sure she eats um, fruits vegetables carbohydrates all that your hand possesses that you that the, the meal that you have okay so you give them what you have like protein um, milk eggs beans make sure they are fed very very well make sure they are fed very very well whenever they want to breastfeed and there is fruit you give the give, you give it to them if there is mango pineapple you give it to them depending on their health you know um, intake or capacity so if your child wants to breastfeed at the same uh, time they know that I've been breastfeeding uh, six times in a day and today I'm taking four times so they would want to take the next one breastfeed again yeah they would like to breastfeed again now um, that one they themselves know that it, something is going wrong so just give them the fruit give them any food available make sure you give them water as well now this point giving them water is going to take us to uh, when your child when your child is a night uh, breastfeeds at night Karen used to breastfeed at night so what I did was that before we go to bed, I make sure she eats something. Maybe I feed her baby food, the one I have cooked um, at home. I have a video on the homemade baby food. You can check it out. It's a very simple recipe that you can do anywhere in the world. So I feed her that or maybe I give her Cerelac and she eats that. At that time, she is full and when we go to bed, so when she's full, she's going to skip the breast milk that she takes, you know, before bed. Mm -hmm. So she'll be sleeping for a while. Carrie normally, she would breastfeed around 1 or 2 a.m. And at that time, when she begins to cry at night, when your child begins to cry, just give your child um, water to drink. As many times that they want to breastfeed at night, just give them water to drink. So by doing that, you find out that your child's um, desire for breast milk at night will be dwindling and also uh, the desire for breast milk during the day will be dwindling now you have if you have concerns about um, um, engorged breast breasts i'm going to talk about that in the next video about engorged breasts so make sure you um, stay here and then next time i'm going to discuss i'm going to discuss how engorged breast during breastfeeding happens and what you can do to um, reduce that so guys these are basically the three things in as much as there are many things that you can do these are the basics you know every mother to do it and make sure you do it very slowly do it very slowly don't be in a hurry to get your child off if your child is addicted to breast milk and all of a sudden you are cutting it you know your child is going to struggle and you're also going to struggle okay so this is basically um, what you have to do during breastfeeding to wean your baby off breast milk guys if this video has been valuable Feel free hit on the like button you can also subscribe you can share this video and you can also leave a comment below let me know how this video has helped you wean off your baby from breast milk i'm going to come by your way some other time until i do that it's bye bye for now if there is a noise at the background please forgive me this area gets crazy sometimes i'll see you some other time